Hey, 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 sexy people. So, cakey update. Um, it is about three weeks since I first used it, and I have popped it on some new places. So, I've just popped it on the inside here of this Monstera Albo and down there in hope that we get some new growth points. It does look like we may get something off this, which is really cool. Um, I've also popped it, you can't actually see it because it's in some sphagnum moss, on my variegated Miranda cutting. The leaf sadly died, um, but we do have roots, but that's it. So I'm hoping it might bring something out there. I've popped it on my tie, as you can see there as well. And I've also popped it on a few other places, which I'll show you now. A few weeks in, I still haven't had any growth on my Monstera Peru, unlike some of my other plants. So I've popped it just inside the leaves as well, because I'm not 100% sure where I was supposed to put this. So I've popped it basically all over it. So hopefully that will force some growth. So um, update to follow. A little bit spare, so I also popped some on my Cyntopus Pictus Argaeus. They seem to slow a bit on my Cyntopus Truby Moonlight, so I've popped a little bit more on that in a few different places. When it comes to leaves on this, but you can see this like giant root node, which I think was the cakey post, which is interesting. It's huge for a Monstera Adansonic. Um, and again, up here we have this little white bump you can see that is next to the um, nodes there so I'm kind of hoping that that might produce something as well but we have actually got two new leaves coming on it at the moment. So pop some on the inside of this um, Monstera Standalena variegata. Um, I couldn't tell where the new leaf was supposed to come from so again hadn't actually had any growth on this but I think that was actually due to my error of where I was putting it rather than anything else. So I've popped it on the inside, as you can see, all the way down. Excitingly, I've also popped some on my larger Monstera. So I've just realised I've missed one. <gasps> so you can see on this, it's a bit easier because it's more mature. If the camera will focus. There we are. You can see the growth point there, where a new leaf would push through. There's another one there, which is why I slathered it on. And we've got quite a few on this. I've popped one over here where it would be. It hasn't actually come through. And then two there. And I've popped some around this side as well on two other growth points I found. So I'm hoping... Oh, and one up here. So I'm hoping this might push through some new growth on my huge Monstera in hope that we get a few more growth points from it because that would be really cool. I have also put it onto my Begonia um, Maculta. Um, it's growing really well at the moment. You can see loads of new leaves coming through and loads of little growth points. Um, so um, I'm hoping that this cakey paste will kick it up even an extra notch. I've popped it on this bit because it's a bit bald. So I've popped it on a few different places down here and hope it bushes out the plant a little bit more. I've also popped a bit more on because the growth seems to have slowed in a few areas on my Ficus Elastica Belize. So I've popped a bit more on there. Um, that is actually, this one here is the growth point that's growing the most. You can see a little shoot coming out there. So I just thought a little bit more isn't going to hurt. It might speed up a bit. By no means least, you can see here that the stem is almost pregnant. Um, this is an area that I applied cakey paste to on my Raphidophora tetrasperma. So um, I am expecting some new growth there soon. Um, we have also got new growth in some other areas. Um, we can see that white bit there. We can also see, I mean, there's actually quite a few points on here, which I dabbed and are doing well if we go around the other side we've got a new point growing there and um, this is another area i put it just down there you can see that white bit coming out there um, i'm hoping that these are growth points not root nodes but um, i don't really know to be perfectly honest um, i've never done this before and there's another one coming out there um, so um, let's hope for some growth because as i say Ain't done this before, so don't 100% know what it's going to look like. But again, loads of new leaves coming on this baby. It's doing really well.